it really comes in handy especially if you don't like you know saving your game from time to time if you forget to do it i totally get you so you can see this is the key while creating the sim because we are here's my tip for you it is the best tip that i can give you and that you can implement and if you want to recover a specific save i heard that your sims 4 crashed and you didn't save the game or you didn't save the sim that you were creating in cast if the sims 4 has stopped working or crashed this is what we can do to recover our lost saves and our last sim from now on first things first if you have mods this window might pop up right at startup I want us to start with a cast. This issue would occur all the time. You often say to me, but I lost my sim whilst creating it because my game crashed, because my sims 4 stopped working. This is what I want you to do. We are just creating our sims, you know, living our best lives, but I want you to randomize the traits. I want to give your sim a name. And then in the process of making it, we can from time to time press this button which says save household in the top right corner and then click on save household to my library. This is the key while creating the sim because we are regularly saving the household which means that we can place it back. Let's just say hypothetically our game crashed, we can go back to new game to create a sim. And then you know just skip that story go to your gallery go to my library and then you should be able to see the sim that you've saved in your library so we can choose to replace it you can merge it which means that you are going to have another sim and the sim that you've created and saved in your library so this is the key i want you to save it as often as you can so that we can prevent you know losing our sim whilst creating it in a cast we can also go further with that access our library and from there we can upload or share this household to our gallery which means that we are going to be able to basically have this sim on our gallery and we can download it from any kind of computer that we might have you only save it to your library it will only be saved onto your local disk but if you share it on gallery you can then you know access a different ea account or even the same ea account but on a different computer that doesn't have your saves and then you can basically put that same back even though you don't have that family that doesn't mean that you will still have the progress but you can have that sim you know in your game as a character and also your build to your gallery is the best way to back up your creations this way you are assured that you have them they are not stored onto your local disk they are stored onto the gallery and you can access the gallery from whatever account you have you can always back up and put your creations back into the game from there again disclaimer that doesn't mean that this is uploading your progress we are only uploading the sim itself and the houses okay or the rooms or apartments whatever creation you want to upload now when it comes to your game or your saves lost due to this issue of sims 4 crashed and i didn't save my game this issue arises oftentimes here's my tip for you it is the best tip that i can give you and that you can implement from now on i want you to go into build mode find a desk okay we're gonna get the cheapest one whatever it doesn't matter it just needs to be a desk computer it can be the fanciest computer or whatever you desire it doesn't matter it has to be a functional one i want you to type in mcc and access this website it's revamped this website i like it you can click on download mcc and what this basically is it's basically a mod that comes with so many features i'm telling you once you have it in a game you cannot go without it i will show you in a second what i'm talking about one thing that i want you to be aware of is that you need to update it every single time you update the game like you see an update popping up or installing into the game you are going to go into your sims 4 and then mods folder and then remove your mcc because i'm telling you 
it's gonna get broken after update so we want to have this mc command center updated at all time and you might ask me how do i know if that mod is up to date should i install it should i not install it well on the main menu page of the sims 4 you can see this version in a bottom right corner and it says version 1.100.147.1030 we want to see if those versions do match for pc it is the same version which means that yes you can install it because your game is up to date and the mod is up to date that is a tip that i suggest you do with every single mod although i can say that not all mods specify the version of the game that they are compatible with so you gotta look at the month you gotta check it manually see if it affects your gameplay and then decide whether or not you want it in the game or you are just gonna remove it altogether because it's causing issues so if you have any mods related issues in the game i highly suggest you watch these videos from me i have lots of fixes lots of tips that will help you repair your game fix it make it clean and work properly but yeah i currently have it installed just for reference i'm just gonna download it once again so we're gonna press on this we're gonna save it we're gonna replace it and then we have this zip file this is going to open up in winrar if you don't have winrar and if you're using windows i highly suggest you use it because with this program you can basically unzip your mods you cannot use your mods if they are zipped zipped means that they are compressed into a specific file that cannot be actually read by the game. And that is the reason why your mods aren't functional. If your mods end with zip, they won't work unless you unzip them. Unzipping just consists of selecting all these files and then dragging and dropping them right over here. So I'm just gonna replace them because I already have the mod. Do this with the game closed because it doesn't work if you have it opened. Back to recovering last saves and last game progress in the sims 4 after your game crashed use that computer because if you click on that computer and if we have the mc command center you have to need that mod installed and keep it updated at all times then we can go to mc settings and there is a wonderful option it is called autosave you just need to go down to use autosave and then enabled you can pretty much customize every single setting about it you can select your save interval type for me it saves my game every sim hours so this comes in handy especially if you forget to save your game from time to time i personally like to have it on sim hour but if it's way too annoying or frustrating for you you can set it to sim day that option is enabled for me so i want you to see how it actually goes okay one hour has definitely passed and if it doesn't work from time to time you can go back to auto save you know disable it and then just enable it once again again you need to keep it up to date as well as we need to restart the game and see if it works properly and it's gonna show up as a completely different save don't forget to access that brand new slot this auto save is gonna create so many slots i'm telling you and this pop-up will show up it didn't work for me for a while but that's just because i had to close the game and then reopen it it just went back to normal so it's really important to do this keep your mod up to date close your game enable and disable auto save until it works this saved game can be found in load game as mc save and it's also saved onto the hard drive you should see in your saves right if we go into the sims 4 and then saves folder it's ending with 111 so this is the save we have a bunch of versions and if you want to recover a specific save and if you have any of these versions for that save you can do that i have a video talking about this so i truly hope that helps this is gonna happen every single sim hour or whenever you decide to have your autosave occur 
it really comes in handy especially if you don't like you know saving your game from time to time if you forget to do it i totally get you so you can see this is the auto save this is the normal save so really make sure to differentiate between those two whenever you access your game in the main menu i also really want to say that if your game is crashing and you cannot seem to save anything i want you to ask yourself these questions do i use any mods because you might have some broken mods that lead to those you know unexpected crashes the next question that i want you to ask yourself is do i have enough free space so the safe spot is anywhere between like i would say 20 to 30 gigs to however much you can i personally like to be in the green line when it comes to my main disc which is the local disc c if you have the red bar then i have a video that will help you with lag and, and how to properly free up some space onto your computer obviously do not delete do not delete fundamental basically files that are important for you just make sure you clear out your downloads from time to time your desktop because mine is always filled up with a lot of stuff and if you're wondering why do i have so many mods old folders it's because i reset my mods folder every single update so this gives me the chance to have a brand new resource that cfg file which is the file that really makes your mods work properly if you don't have a clean resource cfg file or if you don't have it at all your mods won't show up and if you want to know how you can reset your mods folder again that doesn't mean that you are going to lose your mods folder i'm not saying this i'm saying that this mods folder is going to turn into a mods old folder and then the game is going to generate a brand new mods folder so you can basically copy from the mods old folder cc only why am i saying cc only because those are usually the ones that do not get broken after updates those are clothes makeup accessories anything that doesn't have to do with the game features sometimes those clothes do get broken but not that often the key thing that you need to delete after update is mods aka files that end with ds4 script so, and not only because there are also mods that end with package okay so you can very easily type in package and see that i have an mcc command center mod that ends with package we're not gonna get into how can i figure out what mods are broken into this video because i have a bunch of videos talking about that and i'm gonna link them in my description down below as well your sims 4 crashes and your saves are lost either either because you don't have enough space you have broken mods or cc in the game or it can also be that you have way too many mods in cc files and your game cannot seem to handle it yeah i really want you to be able to save your sims save your saves not lose any sims not lose any families from this sims 4 crashing issue auto save and save your creations to the gallery as well as manual save from time to time as often as you can i truly hope you learned something new in this video and i will see you very very soon